Marduk Ziku. The name that follows begins with Marduk, allowing the reader to gain context. That is, if one takes the time to understand what Marduk means. Marduk, bitter oppression, and Merodak, the earlier form, meaning death and slaughter. Here at Ancient Mystery, I do that for you, allowing the viewer to understand the context. Marduk, bitter oppression, is Ziku, who established holiness, the god of the benign breath. Remember the context, this is the breath of death. The lord who hearkens and accedes, who produces riches and treasures, establishes abundance, who has turned all our wants to plenty. Whose benign breath we smelled in sore distress. Of course, that would be the breath of death. Let them speak. Let them exult. Let them sing his praises. To two, invoking by exorcism. Fourthly, let the people magnify as Agaku. The breath of death, the lord who hearkens and accedes. The god of the harmless breath, the lord who listens and expresses approval or gives consent. Accede, to agree to a request or demand, usually plus two. For example, the government acceded to their demands to become party to something such as an agreement, an oath, usually plus two. Consent for what, I hear you say, for Zyukina. The breath of life will be annihilated, leaving only bitterness. With components relating to stench and bile, the stench, bile, and bitterness could refer to the liver, punctured by a particular Z weapon. For example, Anzu, the Spear of Destiny. This in order to ensure the destiny of the moon god Sin, also known as Aku, which we learned from Nam Telaku. And here we have Ag, Aku. Within Zukina, we also have the mention of flaying, assassination, and being raised upon a mound. The mound refers to Nergal, the burner. Nergal would be the bird upon the mound, the lion-faced demon, also known as the Dunghill Cock. This is where we probably get the Scarab worship, and why the first Egyptologist, the cancelled Athanasius Kircher, who said quite mystically, and it's been etched into my brain ever since, the sun god hides behind the Scarab beetle. Mr. Kircher believed that to truly understand the hieroglyphs, one would have to take a psychedelic in order to read them correctly. The word a seed, usually plus two. Two means both exorcism and invoking. This would be the foundation of the oath. Two is not two. I hear you say, yes you, although the Sumerian too would have been pronounced as too. The harmless breath may be a whisper, the breath of life 
leaving the body, which is referred to as being annihilated. The angel of death releases the soul by dropping his flaming sword into your throat, and the birdman takes your soul. Hmm. But the words refer to divine inspiration. What I mean is the channeling voice, channeled by supernatural means. For example, Genesis 3.1. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals. The lion Shezmu, the cannibal god, was replaced by a pep. The serpent. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God made. He said to the woman, who is probably not a woman, quite simply because Eve, Eve, Av, Ab, also mean lion. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? The devil is a whisperer. Trust in me. Just in me. Close your eyes. Oh, that's right. The other element related to Ziku was sleep. The meaning of Ziku. The extensions of Z are synonyms that further go on to detail the same act. So I do not need to go any further than the initial meaning today. Z, breathing breath of life, throat, soul, to destroy, to annihilate or stench, bile, bitter. Ku, to base, found, build, to lie down. The Ku would be coop, for example a bird coop, in order to take over, to assimilate, or to destroy our eternal soul. Yes, from my perspective, that's exactly what they want. The last name, Zukina, related to the punishment of the Saviour. The resurrection spell, in the ancient Egyptian context, belongs to An, the ape-like dog-man, who sits above the scale, which are known as the claws of the scorpion. The resurrection spell is known as the Vulture's Collar. The serpent and the vulture were used to assimilate, and Marduk, the scorpion man, had in his service seven vultures, but they would represent the seven aspects. But the trident has three. The vulture collar has seven prongs, and the trident has three prongs. The word for prong in Sanskrit would be teeth, and in Sumerian, zu means tooth. The seven vultures are depicted with the heads of the enemies of Lagash within their beaks. The information is leading me to one of my greatest concerns. The rock. The castling. The special move used only once by each player in a game of chess. In scripture and mythology, the special move must be the resurrection. 
Here I have an excellent example of the word being used to deceive. The angel of the Lord is the angel of death, both of which lead back to, and are derived from, the Malach of Merodach, the Memetim of Merodach, the Anunnaki of Merodach. Merodach is death and slaughter. The synonyms of angel are messenger, king, malak, mamatim, all synonymous with Anunnaki. They all mean the very same thing, referring to messengers of death. 